And today we're here to talk about the power of our dreams. The power of our dreams. You know, having a dream is super important. A dream has the capacity to change your life. Every invention, every creation, every important thing that ever happened in this world started with a dream. A dream expands you. A dream shows you not only who you are, but who you can become. A dream will allow you to grow in the process of achieving it, doesn't it? And a dream will help you push through obstacles that seem impossible to push through. Your problems do not define you. We all have problems. They do not define you. What defines you? Your attitude. Your attitude defines you. And attitude is not a small thing. Attitude is a big thing, let me tell you. It's a huge thing. When you change your attitude, you change your results. When you change the way you're facing something, you change absolutely everything about it. So choose your attitude. Every time you can decide that. And speaking about decisions, the first step to make a dream come true is decide what you want. And you would be astonished to realize how many people have no idea what they want in their lives. Many times I ask people, so what do you want? And they bring me up a big long list of what they do not want. I don't want this body. I don't want this face. I don't want to feel this way. I don't want my parents to tell me what to do. I don't want... And what do you want? Oh, I don't know. I never thought about that. Oh, really? Well, that's the first thing you need to do in order to achieve your dreams. You need to decide what you want with lots of details. Never, ever let anybody tell you that your dream is not going to happen. Don't let anybody tell you, hey, stop dreaming, be realistic. No, no, dream big, go for it. You know, there's power in writing, writing down your goals. Let me share some powerful research with you. So research shows that only 4% of people, 4% of people who do not write down goals and dreams, attain them, reach them, while 44% of people who write them down, reach them. This is all research from University of Virginia. And I'll give you one more thing, just in case anybody there is sitting and saying, mm, I don't know, I don't know, I'm wondering. Research shows that people who write down their goals and reread them all the time, earn, gain, make nine times more money than those who don't. It's a very simple thing you can do that can bring you very big results. And I've known this for a while. And so when I published my first book, and I did this with my mother in the year 2010, we published our first book. And within two weeks, we received a phone call. We were driving to the city. We received a phone call from our editor. And he says, hey, ladies, I'm calling to congratulate you. I say, oh, wow, what happened? You just made it to the bestseller list. And this is the dream of any author. When you write a book, your dream is to become a best-selling book, which means basically everyone is right, reading your book. And so we were so happy. And I'm on the phone, and my mom is driving, and I tell her, we just became bestsellers. And she looks at me and she goes, and so that's why I want to encourage you guys, write, write down your goals, because something magical could happen. Something magical happened to us. We, our book got published in I don't know how many languages. We were the first women in 40 years to receive a Golden Book Award. So many wonderful things happened just because of that. So now I want you to take a minute and think, what is your dream and write it down. It could be something short. It could be something you want to achieve in five years, in 10 years. It could be something you want to achieve in a lifetime. It doesn't matter when, write it down. And you know, it could change your lives. <laughs> and if it does, please tell me about it in a few years. I'd be very happy to know that, okay? <laughs> All right, we're moving on to now. So step number one is decide what you want. Just like I did, decide and write it down. And step number two has to do with believing in yourself. And believing in yourself is a huge topic, but if there's one thing that you can do right now, to start believing in yourself, you know what that is? 
start talking to yourself like you would talk to your best friend. Would you tell your best, let's just say your best friend is going through a really rough time. Would you tell him or her, you're such an idiot, you always screw it up, you always do the same thing. Would you say that to your best friend? No, would you? But don't you say it to yourself? We all do, right? It's a matter of changing the way we talk to ourselves. The words we say to ourselves have enormous power. Enormous power. If we say to ourselves, I'm never going to make it. I'm too dumb. I'm too slow. I'm never going to be able to do this. Guess what happens? You're never going to be able to do it. But if you start telling yourself, I can do this. I can learn this. I can, then your brain starts shifting. Your energy starts shifting. And everything changes. Change can happen fast. If you change the way you talk to yourself, if you choose a power phrase, because that's what he had, I deserve to perform at my best, it's a power phrase. Everything changes. And it can be really fast. So I want you now to choose what would your power phrase be. His phrase was, I deserve to perform at your best. Yours could be, I believe in me. I can do it. I am capable, I deserve success, I deserve happiness, abundance is my birthright, whatever it is. Step number three is all about taking action. So once you decide what you want and you believe in yourself, you need to take action. Taking action is leaving your comfort zone. Taking action is doing what others are not willing to do. Taking action, and this is a reminder, Taking action, you need to leave your safe place and risk it. Do what others are not willing to do, even if you're scared. Because you know how sometimes you are scared to do things. But then you need to push through the fear and do it anyway. There's many things you will have to do, even if you're scared. Even if you don't feel ready. Just push through the fears. Do it with a fear with you, with your self-doubts all over you. Do it anyway. So what the heck? Do it anyway. And you will feel the power of that. And so, we got step number one, decide what you want. Step number two, believe in yourself. Step number three, take action. Step number four is more than a step. It's an attitude towards life. And it has to do with perseverance. There is a tree that is called the Japanese bamboo. That is probably, sometimes, some people call it the slowest growing tree in the world. Because this is what happens. The bamboo grower plants the seed, and for one entire year, he sees nothing. Just soil. Just imagine. You plant a seed, you take care of it, you water it, nothing. Second year, he keeps taking care of the land. What happens? Nothing. Three years, nothing. Four years, nothing. Five years. Can you imagine taking care of a seed for five years? Nothing happens. Suddenly, after six years and seven months, out of nowhere explodes this plant that grows 32 meters in one month, five centimeters per hour, which means if you look at it closely, you watch it grow. And the question is, what was happening in those six years and seven months when apparently nothing was happening? What was growing there? The roots, exactly the roots that were there to support the incredible growth that would happen one day. So if your dreams take a little bit more time, don't worry. Don't buy into the lies that social media sell us that everything has to be an overnight success. It's simply not true. It's not true. Just keep going, persevere. Persevere and you will see how powerful your dreams can be. There's great power in your dreams. And the big power in your dreams comes from knowing that even if you get a pencil that feels broken, you can sharpen it. And by sharpening it, I mean by thinking about your dream, by setting your mindset to the point where you believe in yourself more than in your obstacles. And you can achieve amazing things with that. So first step is decide what you want. Decide what you want in detail. And if somebody tells you this is too big for you, be realistic.